Hey everybody, Techie 101 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon White for the Nintendo DS. Alright, last episode, let's see, we took out the uh, Stradion City Gym Leader Chili, got ourself a Tri Badge or Trio Badge, which, whichever one of the two, and uh, then we went over to the Dream Yarn where we discovered that Team Plasma is actually a series of douchebags, just like every other team and every other generation. Um, and I actually was told that I actually have to go back to the Dream Yard because... Uh, there's actually a lot of more stuff I forgot to get. Autumn, what the hell? Oh, that's right, it's it's July now. <laughs> yeah, um, I should probably mention the fact, if you're like one of the uh, few people out there like I was that knows nothing about Pokemon White, I, I, I knew there were season changes in this game, but I, like an idiot, assumed that it was like real time, like during... Uh, you know, like uh, June, July, August, it would be summer, and then September, October, November, then it would be uh, autumn. I actually looked into it, and yeah, it turns out every month it alternates. So, I was, it, it was summer when I was in June, but that's just because the way it ended up. So it would go, July is autumn, August is winter, September is spring, you know, it's just, it goes in that cycles, and you can only catch certain Pokemon during those cycles. This means, of course, if we're going to catch a Vanillite, we have to hold off until August, but considering the fact that I wasn't ex I, I mean, Emerald took me like five months to get done from December to May, so that is at least one full year cycle in White, so I think we'll be good. And White's probably longer than Emerald, so, um, yeah, but let me just let, let me just take a look around up here, because there's a lot of things people are saying I missed. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I also have to say, though, that I've been getting a lot more... Oh, God, you guys are freaking assholes. I hate you. Am I going to freaking fight her? Oh, no, that's from the last... Okay, okay, okay. Jeez, I thought you guys were like, Hey, hey, Tekken, go back in the dream yard. Yeah, you'll have fun there. Uh, you forgot to fight Bianca. Yeah, screw you. All right, anyway, uh, what I was going to say is I'm getting a lot more feedback than what I got from uh, when I was playing Emerald. I mean, when I was playing Emerald, I got, you know, a decent amount of feedback. But just I think because White is more of a recent game and people played a lot more, that it, it has a lot more of a cult following at the moment. And that's why everyone was, like, like pumped for me to play this game. Like, I was going to go right to Diamond. I wasn't going to go play White. I was going to play... I figured I played Emerald. I never played Emerald before. Okay, let's get... Let's like, just to kind of get me back in the groove, we'll play Emerald. And then... Uh, oh, a potion? Okay, that's handy. And then, now that I'm back in the groove, I can get onto the games I've never played before, like Diamond, and then I can go on to White. Like, I'll just go on, like, the national progression. But, I mean, at the end of Emerald, I asked, what, what LP do you want me to do next? Pretty much everybody. Like, the solid vote. I mean, there was a couple of outliers, but the solid vote was, you play White right now. So, yeah, I, I, I have to listen to my fans. All right, so oil drum. Is there like a can I? Is there like a, an HM where I can break down the oil drums? Is there like a like a firebomb or a Molotov cocktail ability where I can like blow up the oil drums and get through? Um, probably not, right? Can I go through here somehow? There's an item. Over, there's a staircase over there. I was interested in. I don't think I can go that way though. Oh wait, no, I can. Okay, I can weasel my way back here. No, it's a battle. I don't want to go in a battle. No, not you, Perleon. I really hope we get to see some other Pokemon soon. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. The uh, everyone was saying you need to catch a Muna because we're in the Dream Yard and we we experienced we saw Muna and uh, Munshara in the last episode. I think their names was when we uh, saw Team Plasma. And you know that everyone's saying you know it's a pretty solid it's it's a, it's a pretty solid uh, psychic type. You know you'd be pretty good. Here's the thing, and this is gonna sound really freaking. I, 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 this is just gonna sound like I'm really finicky or picky, and it doesn't sound really uh, a, a, like a, a good reason why I won't catch Mushara, but basically, how, how do I want to phrase this? I want to phrase this by saying that I don't want to catch the Pokemon that the game wants me to catch. And what I mean by that is, it's like you're walking through, a, like the Dream Yard, for instance. You're walking through the Dream Yard, and you see this big event with Munshara and Muncharan. That, to me, is saying that the game wants me to catch that Pokemon. Like, the game was introduced, uh, that Pokemon, for a reason. And I don't want to do that. I want to have my own adventure. Same reason I was kind of mad why they gave me uh, that Pompadour, that, uh, that Water Monkey. Same reason I was kind of mad when they gave me that. I'm thinking, well, I, I don't want to catch the Pokemon you're telling me to catch. I want to catch my own Pokemon. Like, there's over, like, a hundred freaking Pokemon in this game. I would like to enjoy to catch the ones I want to. I don't want you just being like, hey, this is a pretty good water type. Here you go, man. So, that's the reason I'm probably not going to have Pompadour around anymore. Uh, and uh, even, I'm, I'm even on the, I'm even split 50-50 on if I'm going to keep Lillipup right now. It's just, it's an, it's, a, it's an adventure in my own way. Alright, so, 
Is that all we did? Is that all in the dream yard? They, they, everyone was saying I missed some items, but it was really just like a potion, a repel. I mean, the repel is going to come in handy, but I mean, still, it's just a repel. Can I get back there? Kind of, yeah. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I like, the, I like the changes in the seasons. It's, a, it's a pretty clever technique, and I know there's a couple Pokemon, uh, I think Deerling, uh, that like change, like the Pokemon themselves change with the season. So that's pretty cool. But aside from that, I think we're done when it comes to the. Uh, Stradion City. I'm gonna move on. I want to see what's up next, guys. All right, this okay. This is different. What is this now? Do you know about the technical machine? Yes, I know. Can you tell me about this cool fountain and why this shrub is shaped like a Pidgey and why this is a Pikachu? Anybody? Wow, it's a shiny gym badge. Get that badge for me. You have skill to handle whatever comes next. Okay, great. I guess no one's gonna tell me about this place. Can I go over here? Okay, this is, oh, it's like a, this is like, this is reminding me of that maze section. Oh, come on, lady. This is reminding me of that maze section from, uh, what's it called? Uh, it was right in between, uh, Lavender Town and Fuchsia City. That maze thing you had to pass through in order to get to the next, uh, in order to get Fuchsia. Always hated that section. All right, back on the road, guys. Route 3, where are we headed? We're headed to Route 3. Okay, it doesn't really tell us what the next city is. Ooh, a double battle. Been a while since I had one of these suckers. All right, let's check this out. What do we got? What do we got? We got, uh, my one Snivy or Lillipop or Pampor to be next. Uh, probably should have healed up that first. Lillipop, are you holding something? I don't know if I want to take this. Hold on, let me see what it is first, because it has that pickup ability. I don't know if it's a, uh, if it's an Orenberry or... The Super Potion! Oh, damn, Lillipop! Damn, I love you! I might just keep you around just for the sake of the potions. All right, bring it on, chicks. Double battle time. We're going to combine our strength to do our best, so please watch. You know, back in my day, I had a slacking and a blaziken, and they would have kicked your asses. Those were the days. <laughs> I'm like an old man now. He's like, oh, that's original, really? That's original. I mean, so far, we've seen what? We've seen a, a patch rat, lily pup, a uh, pearly on... Muna and Musharan. Now, this is not even including the monkeys. This is not including the, the gym leaders. That's that's only four Pokemon, guys. Come on, we're in the, we're almost we're right after the second the the, the 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 first gym. I mean, that's like in Pewter City. That's like after Pewter City, you don't see anything more than just a Pidgey, a Rattata, and uh, and, and, and like a Caterpie or something. We've only seen three Pokemon. Okay, why is the camera like having a mind of its own? That's that's weird. I don't know if I like that yet. All right, and like, oh, I can choose. Okay, I want. I don't want to use dark. I want to use a dark type move. Okay, tackle the other one, I guess. All right, like, oh, I can choose to attack. I mean, I, I mean, I, I could have always chosen to attack my my uh, other Pokemon, but it's just interesting. It has like a little, like a handy dandy little screen there to show you what's going on. Okay. Dun -na 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 All right, tackle. Let's 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 switch it up. Let's switch it up, guys. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, speaking of changing the month, it is currently uh, July 4th, so it is Independence Day, uh, 4th of July, in America. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, fun day. I actually have work tonight, though, so I'm probably not going to be able... It sucks, I ended up closing on the 4th of July. Last year, I got lucky. Last year, I got it off. Um, but tonight, I I'm working until, like, 9.30, so I'm probably not going to get on until later. So, I don't know if I'm going to set off any fireworks tonight, but it should be... I, I like the 4th of July. All right, uh, let's see. What is this? Is this like a town, or is this the daycare? Yeah, this is the daycare, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not a breeder. I'm not. I'm not Brock. So uh, I think we're just gonna skip over this here. And uh, oh, really? There's even trainers up in the daycare area. I feel invincible because I'm surrounded by the smiles of children and Pokemon. Well, aren't you just pop puppies and sunshine? I'm gonna knock that puppies and sunshine right out of you. Let me guess. You have a puppy. Oh my God! I freaking called that. Really? Puppies and sunshine. If you have a soul rock. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious if she had a soul rock. She would literally have puppies and sunshine. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if you can catch a soul rock in this gen. That's always something interesting, is some of the Pokemon you can catch, you can only catch in other in the other games. Like that, uh, that psychic Pokemon Gothitha. Like I, I looked at Gothitha and I'm like, that seems pretty cool. She's like a like a goth version of Jinx. That'd be kinda cool to have her. And then she's only available in Pokemon Black, of course. So yeah. Although I did see I did read somewhere that Pokemon White does feature triple battles more than Pokemon Black does. So, hold on a second. So that's, uh, if nothing else, that's something interesting I have going for me. And there's still some interesting Pokemon. Alright, we're already at level 14. I think I'm going to switch out with Lillipop here. Yeah, we're going to switch out for him. 
go, Lily Pup. Bark, bark. I don't know when uh, Lily Pup evolves. Mm. Nursery Aid Autumn. Autumn. I don't know if that's uh, if that's a thing. Okay, Moon. Okay, we have another Pokemon. Oh, so she's not puppies in Sunshine. She's just puppies in Sweet Dreams. Okay, I see. Bite it. <laughs> Uber Eflective. Lucky Chant. Yeah, on top of everything else, um, this is also going to sound very conceited of me, but I just don't like Muna's design. It looks like a deflated balloon, and it looks, like, very depressed. I don't really want that thing on my team. I know that's a stupid... Actually, no, that's not a stupid reason for not wanting a Pokemon. That's a stupid reason for, you know, not picking out a, a, a... You know, you go to the animal shelter, and you see a poor little puppy there, and it's just, like, it's all sad, and you're like, I don't like that color. You know, it's that, that that's kind of conceited, but it's a freaking Pokemon game. I mean, seriously, guys. Alright, so, I mean, like, uh, if, if I want to judge by appearance, I'll judge by appearance. Alright, little random kid here. Take this, Hyper Beam! Oh, shit, I'm screwed! This guy has a freaking slacking Tyranitar Dragonite. This is, this is the true end of the game. Preschooler Tully, he's gonna kick my ass. Pansage, that's a, oh, that's the grass one, okay. I don't think I got to see the grass one. That's cool. That's another, that's something new. I have a grass Pokemon too. It knows cut though, so it's gonna still cut you down. Sorry, child. I should just title this episode, I, I Teching Beats Up Small Children. <laughs> I, I just, I literally just walk into a playground, like at a school, and I just start throwing out my freaking Pokemon. It's like, bring it on, kids! I'm 12 and you're, it's like at that stage in your life when you're 12 and you think because you're 12 years old you can boss around like 5 year old kids because you know how to, you know, you know you can spell at like a 6th grade level and they can't, so therefore you feel important. Like the other day at my store, I was, um, the, the other day at my store, what was it? It was like, uh, it, 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 but behind my uh, register there's like a see-through window. And you know it's like one of those windows where it's uh, it's a mirror on one side, but it's like a it's like a one-way mirror. So uh, this one kid, he uh, he was like maybe four or five years old, and maybe he might have been a little bit older. And he was like looking through that mirror, and of course from his perspective it's just a mirror. But he said, "I can't see through this window." <laughs> And his his older sister was with him, and, and the older sister was like maybe nine or ten, and she's like, "That's not a window, that's a mirror, Kyle." And I actually just after she said that, just to be a snarky bastard, I turned around. And I'm like, "Oh, that's actually it's actually both. It's a one way mirror." So he was actually right. And this look of content on this girl's face was just like, "She's like, you mean I was wrong? I can't be wrong. I'm ten years old." And then she cried. I'm just kidding, she didn't cry, but she did have this look on her face, like I just showed her up. I'm like, screw you, lady, I'm, you, you think you know everything about the world? You're only 10 years old, man. I mean, you might be legally allowed to go pick up a Pokemon and head out into the world on your own, but I run a cash register. I'm really, I'm somebody here. Oh, it's uh, Charon. I could deal with Charon. Charon is, is not as annoying as, as Bianca. Bianca just acts like a complete klutz. Alright, okay, well, his Tepig's level 14, so it probably knows some fire attacks by now. Which is not very good. Yeah, I'm fucked. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll remember you. Oh, wait, that's right. We have this thing. <laughs> Completely forgot we had you. Go ahead and water gun the shit out of it. Bam. I like the water gun graphic here. It looks more like Hydro Pump from Gen 3. Oh, I was identified? Hmm. Good move as usual. Yeah, sure, that... Type matching up was very clever there. Well, you know, by logic, because you went to the first gym too, and you had a Tepig, you would have fought against uh, Cress. So that means you would have needed a Grass type monkey. So why don't you throw the Grass type out monkey to fight against my Water type? You know, just it's just type matching here. Clearly, you would have one by now. All right. Well, maybe he still does. We don't know because the uh, battle hasn't actually gotten pearly on. Okay, he still has. How many Pokemon does he have? He has. Oh, it doesn't say, really? Oh, it doesn't say in between the battles. Alright, let's break out the ghost attack here. Growl, huh? I think ghost is super effective against dark. Something is super effective against dark. I thought it was psychic, but it might not be. We'll see if this is super... No, it's not. I always get confused when... Oh, paralyzed. I always get confused when it comes to the three, like, ghost, dark, and uh, psychic. Like, I always think those guys are always, like, psychic is super effective against... Ghost and Dark. Dark is super effective against Psychic and Ghost. Like, all three of them are always super effective against each other. Um, I, I don't know. Well, that's cool. It has, like, a, because it's paralyzed, it has, like, a yellow tint to it. That's 
it's the little things, guys. You know, I, I, it's the little things. I'm assuming that if it was poisoned, it would be like a purple tint. Quit lowering my attack! I want to kill you, you cat! <laughs> it is paralyzed, huh? Alright, break out the water gun! Wow. Matthew Crawford provides his own sound effects. And one more water gun should do it. I don't know if he has another Pokemon, though. It might. Okay, that should bring us up to level 12, or 13, depending on people how Pokemon easily level up in this game. I defeated Charon. Ah, see, Charon, you didn't use your Grass Monkey. We have the same number of gym badges. Well, then where is your Grass Monkey? Out of the way! Oh, crap, is that that? Ah, oh, damn, not these guys again. Oh, great. What was that about? Uh, Bianca, why are you running? Oh, what? Now what now? Where were those people headed? That way, but... Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Why are you running now? Wait, did, did Team Plasma steal that little kid's freaking Muna? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Miss, oh, my Pokemon... Oh, my God, I know where this is going. It'll be okay. It'll be a... Damn it, Team Plasma, you are freaking terrible. You have to hear this. These Pokemon stole that girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken up sooner. Matthews, we're gonna go get the Pokemon back. Pl Bianca, please stay by the girl's side. Yes, Bianca, you're the woman, so therefore, stay by the side. Don't leave her off with the daycare center that's not standing 20 feet to your right. All right, let's, uh, let's break this guy down. Come on, Sharon, double battle for the ages. Right after I'm done fighting against this, this, uh... Oh, that's a new thing. What the hell's that thing? Pidov. All right, haven't seen you yet, Pidov. I mean, you're probably like the Pidgey of this generation, so I'm not gonna catch you. Um, I just want to say, though, it's, it's been an honor. Been, it's been fun. My god, my Pokemon are beat to hell. Maybe I should, uh, should I go back to, I don't even think I can go this way now because of, oh, I can? Alright. Well, uh, I'll leave the Pokemon to, uh, you know, suffer on their own while I go back and heal up because I'm such a nice guy. Watch, Ch Charon runs up to Team Plasma and he's just, uh, he runs up right up to him. He's like, he's like, you guys are gonna pay for stealing that girl's Pokemon, right, Matthias? And he just turns to his side and I'm not even there and he's like, the fuck, Matthias? The fuck? And then I, I end up showing back up later, and I'm like, Hey, all my Pokemon are healed, Sharon! And Sharon's just like a bloody mess on the freaking ground. He has like sword stab wounds, pearly on scratches. He's just, he, he's like a wreck. His glasses are freaking broken, arms freaking twisted in some weird contorted shape. And, and he just, he just sits up and he's like, Matthias! The fuck, man! And then he passes out. And then it's up to me to save the day. I just noticed this character resembles a lot like me in the hair department. His hair kind of like sticks out from like it makes kind of like a pair of horns from each side. Like he has long hair. That is, that is totally how my hair is right now, and it, it is a source for anguish for me every day. But uh, I'm gonna get it cut soon. But uh, Matthias and me, we we we're together. You know, we we have a bond to share. I'm not really a hat person though. All right, Sharon, my Pokemon are fully healed. Now we can kick ass and take names. Except we won't take names because most Pokemon, most Team Plasmas are just called grunts. Alright, what's up? They ran inside here. Matthias, your Pokemon's HP is fine. Are you ready to go, right? Oh, really? He would have healed me regardless, one of you. Whatever. Yeah, alright, let's go into the dark, dingy cave. And nothing's gonna stomp me, guys. Rescuing that girl's... Oh, we're out of, po we're out of time. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll see you next time, guys, into the dark, dank cave. See ya.